Okay, I'm gonna start by doing problem one. Write the requested portions of a class called employee. I'm gonna solve it in Notepad and then move it over to NetBeans to make sure that it works. So, okay, we're writing the requested portions of a class called employee. Uh, we need to write the class header. Any any instance fields needed? Class header. Um, class employee. That's a class header. Boom, seven points right there. This question has three parts, so if you get the class header right, um, and the fields, you're going to get seven points. So let's look at the fields. Uh, we'll have a name, string name. Uh, then we're going to have a social security number, uh, int SSN. Then we're going to have a uh, position, string position and uh, double wage. Seven points right there for doing that in that question. Because it's a three-part question and it clearly if you do one part you get a third of the points. I round up seven points. Part B. Write a method that is past the int value of the number of hours worked for the week as a parameter and returns the pay for the employee uh, including overtime, which is 1.5, blah, 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 blah. So, you write a method that's past the int value of the number of hours worked. Okay, so we're here. Public, get uh, pay. Get, let's call it gross pay, int hours. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and uh, code here. If hours less than 40 oh whoops no return type right here so this one's gonna return what we're returning an amount of payment so you know clearly this is gonna be a double we wouldn't want to return you know dollars only people get really sensitive when you try to round their cents off and Java does truncate. So even if you, you know, if your pay is $499.99, it'll truncate the 99 cents and somebody's going to get butt hurt for sure about that. So if ours is less than 40, what do we do? Um, actually, let's do this. If ours is greater than 40, return um, hours minus 40. So the overtime times 1.5 times wage which is a field in the class so we know that plus their base pay um, wage times hours times 40 sorry 40 okay so and that's if hours is greater than 40 otherwise um, if hours oh crap if hours is less than zero what do we do? Return zero. I mean, we just assume that this guy, I don't know. We, we're not going to do error handling right now. So we just cover that base and that's fine. And then finally, if ours, I don't know, actually, you know, we've covered the case where it's greater than 40. We cover the case where it's less than zero. So the only case that's left is between, it's, uh, this one should be, actually, that's fine. So the only case that's left is zero inclusive up to 40 inclusive so you know that's our default case you know w if this statement gets executed the function returns and nothing else further happens none of the stuff that's underneath the return statement happens if this you know uh, works then the function returns zero and nothing else happens it gets out of the way so the only thing that's left is just say return wage times hours you know we know that at this point in the in the in the method we know that uh, quite simply put, hours is between 0 and 40, inclusive, so we just return wage times hours. And that is another 7 points for this question. And let's see what else is asked of us. Um, write a race method that is passed an increase or decrease in hourly wages and updates the employee's hourly wages appropriately. The amount passed is strictly the amount of increase or decrease, not a new hourly wage. If the amount of increase or decrease is too much, more than what the employee currently makes, do not adjust the hourly wage, but instead output a warning message. Alright. So, what do we do here? Public void give race. 
and it takes a double race. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, because I said so. Okay, uh, okay, um, so if race is greater than what the guy already makes, greater than wage, um, we want actually a compound statement here, so we do system dot out dot print line uh you're effing up as a manager you know these days you underpay and overwork you don't overpay anybody you don't certainly don't pay fairly so you're effing up as a manager and return and we just return to make that return again you know just makes the function terminate if we have a since this function is a of a void return type it can't we can't return zero we can't return true we can't return false we have to just return nothing because it is of a void return type and you know if race is not greater than wage all we gotta do now is just um, wage plus equals race or you know to write it in more dummy terms Let's just write wage equals wage plus race. And please note that this also covers uh, negative cases. So if we give a negative race, somebody, you know, spat in a customer's face, but it turns out that he's the, 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 the son of the president of the company, you can't fire him. You just give him a negative race. And uh, you call this method and it's going to lower his pay. You call this method and you pass it a negative parameter. So in your program, it would look like something like... Um, I don't know. Uh, jackass employee dot give race negative 4.0. And there you go. All right. So that's the solution to problem one. We're done. Uh, full credit for that. And uh, I'm just going to run it on NetBeans now. NetBeans, and we're going to control N, new class, and it's going to be called the employee, isn't it, buddy? Yes. And we just paste everything that we had. Um, yeah, I made a couple of errors. I wouldn't definitely not dock your points for typos like this. Class is in lowercase. And, ooh. Wow, that was pretty good. One error and everything compiles now. Okay, so that's that for problem one.